Well, this uh, 454 Gen 5, probably 91 to, or excuse me, yeah, 92 to 95 vintage. It's really had a hard life. Look at the uh, grooves in the number two main journal there. Somebody line honed right over it. <laughs> so you can see where it's never been touching. And that's, wow. I mean, that's, that's been honed over because here's the bearing I took out of it. And you can see, see that little white mark where it's not been contacted? See right there? So that bearing, I mean, yeah, I've had a bunch of shit go through it. It's junk, but the other thing I noticed too is it blew up at one time. See where somebody massaged the cylinders because it must have threw a rod. See, somebody took a Dremel grinder and ground it smooth. <laughs> But to top off the poor machine work, uh, most of the cylinders are out of round. So we'll go here. And I'm at a four inch 280, so it's 30 over. That's not bad, okay? I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees. Look at that, one, one and a half out of round. That's, that's pretty poor. Excuse me. Almost every cylinder except one is like that. So this thing, it, it uh, really had some crappy machine work done to it. But hey, it looks like we got our first line board job for our Burke OBT6. So we're, uh, we'll clean this up. We'll see if we can't save this block the right way. Okay, getting our BT6 set up here for the first time. I've got the uh, block roughly, you know, indexed in with these uh, special cones. So basically, we just put these cones in, turn these adjustment screws here and the height of that big wheel, try to get it centered with the bar. So now we're gonna put it in with a dial indicator. I got the caps cut about three, four thousandths undersized, which is nowhere near enough, but um, I just wanna do a uh, test bore with it because like I said, I don't know if we're going to save this block anyway, but let's see, uh, let's see what happens here. We're going to keep dialing her in. All right, got my uh, line bore machine, got the block, you know, centered in the machine. So kind of neat how it works. You put this uh, indicator in here, one of the posts, and then uh, you wrote it. I got it on zero there. I don't know if you can read it. So basically, you just take a couple readings, you know, at like 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. So I'll just rotate this guy. Right about there. And then you just about a half a foul, which is nothing. I'll rotate the other way. Close to zero. See, that's good. Same thing over here. Zero at six o'clock. Zero at three o'clock. Almost two over here. So, so it's about two thousand side around. No big deal. Like I say, we're gonna cut it. So we're gonna get ready to cut this thing. Big block, see if we can save her. Not gonna just go over the oil hole there. We'll do a test cut here and we'll measure it and see how close the mic is. Pretty slick. <laughs> wow. 
Brian Bourne is 454. See if we can save her. All right, setting up my BT6 here to do the final pass here on our 454 Gen 5 engine that spun a main down the line somewhere. And <clears throat> this is the uh, setting fixture. So there's an Allen right there to adjust my cutter bit. Okay, and then this guy here, I rotate clockwise to run the bit up. There's a little, uh, there's a little uh, steel piece in here that pushes up on the cutting bit that rests this on. So I'm gonna rock this. I got it set where I want. I'm going with a special King main bearing that is a 20 thousandths OD oversize to correct this issue. So uh, standard big block main OD bore is two inch 937 to two inch 938. So basically two and 15 16. So we want to finish 20 thousandths over that. So we're going to finish at 957 to 958. Now zero represents 957 and a half where I've got my mic set comes out. There go, maybe it won't. Well, take my word for it. I've got that mic set to 957 and a half. And I'm gonna rock this over and see I'm just a shade big, which is fine. I'd rather go big than small. See the positive plus side, so I'm rocking it. So we've got this cutter set. We'll make a pass and see what she is. All right, we're hopefully doing the final cut here. Set really nice. So if I've got my mic and everything set right, it should be two inch, 937, half to two inch, 938. Let's see how she comes out here in a second. Sounds like it's cutting really good. All right. <sighs> Rock checking my uh, work here. And I've got the zero representing 937 and a half, so right dead nuts. There's a glare. Looks like I'm right there at 938, which is what I want. I'd rather be on the big side. I think that's perfect. Check make sure it's not out of round. Yep, perfect. All right, that's what I want. We're right there. So we'll go ahead and cut the other four journals and we should be good to go. All right, I uh, lined home the finish here on our uh, 74 Gen 5 job and we took it right to 938. So right to the big end of the spec, which bigger is always better. It came out really, really nice. So we will now we got to bore it 40 over. Actually, I'm going to hone it. I'm going to use roughing stones and uh, finishing stones, and then we'll do a final wash. Then we will torque the main bearings in the saddles, make sure everything's correct, and uh, we will double check uh, main bearing clearance at that point.